source code isn't always telling you the truth. So there was a there was a different attack against a library called XEUtils. This was open source and it was used by SSH, so Secure Shell. This, this attack was kind of brilliant for a different reason. They looked at SSH and they said, okay, what libraries do we think we can get access to? And there was one library that had like one maintainer. So two years before this attack, someone decided, okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start pushing really good code to this library. We're going to, they pushed enough code to become a maintainer. And now they're in charge of that. They're one of the two people who are in charge of that library. So in February last year, after like staging, like they had a binary for testing supposedly and like a really obfuscated shell script, they said, okay, it's, I guess it's go time. They pushed a commit that made it. So when you compiled that software and then you, you linked it with um, SSH, it rewrote some of the functionality in SSH to have a backdoor, <laughs> backdoor in, S, in the SSH daemon. And that, that attack actually funneled all the way down to at least Ubuntu. So, you know, huge, huge Linux distro. It, may, it got to major leaks. Yeah, it, it, it made its way where it was supposed to go. The reason it got caught is because the attackers were sloppy. Someone at Microsoft, who is a pro Postgres like developer, because Microsoft pays for like a lot of open source development, noticed that his SSH connection took half a second longer than it had previously and decided to like essentially reverse engineer this thing because they were a little sloppy because they were trying to push it out quick. They got caught. 